desert set of mountains or set of desert mountains back up here that I, you know, I've been all around them, but I've never been right to them. I found, I brought the buggy up here and found a little two track road. I, I think if I'm not going to be up there in those mountains, it's the way, best way to hunt this, you know, get in, get in the buggy and, and just go through the country and see if I can't find something. Then if I find something that's in here, you know, then I can get on my mule and, and make some circles. Anyway, it's not really my favorite way to hunt, but I got to cover the country. I know there's a, there was a lion that, that went back out of that arroyo and it was going back to the east. I haven't got back in there yet. I thought I'd come up through here. And that's been, you know, when I seen the track, it was probably a three day old track. And then it's been a week since then. So I'm gonna come up through here and see if I can find where anything's been moving around up in here. I gotta learn all these roads so I know where to hit them. And uh, then I'll probably build me a drag and see if I can't drag some of this, make it a little easier to spot a track. And, uh, yeah, get after it down here for a while. There's, there's really nobody who uses this country for much except, you know, buggy or four wheelers and crap like that. But even them, they're, they're not, they're just out here on the weekends. So it's not too bad. All right, here we go. I don't know if you can see her, maybe. Kind of a long ways out there. Anyway, she was bedded down right there under that that tree right there. Got up and hopped boom, 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 off not more than 15, 20 yards from me and the dogs. I had the pups opened up, but they didn't chase her. And the older dogs didn't pay any mind. So That's a good thing. Pretty neat country. Posers. Just trying to find a ringtail cat or a Kota Monday. Ain't no lion up there. And right. Down there is the buggy. Wish I could fly. It's one of the reasons to use the buggy. I was right over in those hills right there. Now I'm back here. There's some cave holes and a ridge. And the last track I had on that lion, she was headed up into this country, this side. But see, I was in that buggy. If I'd have been on my mule, I'd have had to load him in the trailer. I wouldn't have been able to get up that road with the trailer because it's all washed out. I barely made it up with the buggy. But I was here in 35 minutes. Well, about an hour, but I, I ate lunch while I was there too. So anyway. I'm gonna check this out, climb up to the top, and then I'm going over to these little little hills right over here. I'm gonna check those out, and then I'm gonna go check that canyon out where we trailed into the other day. And then I wanna figure out how to get up on top. So I, I can go to that saddle over there. I might do that too, depends on how much time I've got, but it's good, here we go. She's been in here. Hell, she might still be in here. I don't know how deep this thing goes. There's bats back in there. Tracks coming in and tracks going out. I can't age a track inside the that cave. I mean, it's been undisturbed. I'm gonna go look over the top.
And that's jazz too. They go over the top. No, they're right there. I don't know what she's doing. hot and I don't have any water for the dogs. Man, they're trailing good all the way up over that through that saddle. There they are again. I don't have any water for them though. I hope they don't burn out. I don't have any water for me. And I'm not on my mule. what I was afraid of. It's just getting too hot, overheated. Jazz is still down there working on it. But these dogs overheated and I don't have any water. I know those cows are watering somewhere, but I don't know where. We got a lion in here, boys. They rested up a bit and they started it again. I gotta save my battery on my phone. In case we catch it, I, I wanna be able to video that, but I, I don't think there's any way we can catch it. Not moving it fast enough. It just got too hot. It just got slower and slower. There's, I don't even, I'm not even 100% sure we're on the right end of it. I mean, I think we were. I seen a track up there, but it wasn't that big. But there, they're hunting shade. It's got to be 80 degrees out here. This old rock. They were still trying, but shoot, I didn't bring any water. And yeah, we probably trailed. We probably trailed a mile and a half, maybe two miles. Quite a ways. Buggy's way over there. But we'll be back. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that you got something out of it. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe and the little bell up there and you'll get notifications when I post a new video. If you like also, if you feel like it, comment down below. Uh, I'm going to try to make videos every week. I'm going to be hunting from here on out, so hopefully I'll have enough time and I'll have some interesting stuff. It's always an adventure always an adventure and it is it's all about the hounds <laughs>